you being like having so many stories in hip hop, understanding being there in hip hop, mm-hmm. I'm I'm curious to hear your uh, perspective on this when it comes to journalism and all these podcasts, people doing interviews. Do you think it's a better interview when somebody is qualified, having all the knowledge about hip hop, speaking on hip hop, or the fun stuff that we see? Like, uh, it depends. So, so like, all right. Yes, it, it it depends because times change, right? Like, it used to be a time where, like, when a journalist had to do something with a um a personality or artist, whatever, it used to be in times where, like, um, how can I say, when a person had to write, you know, what I mean, they had to write it for a write up or something, or even you know, c- conducting interviews in front of this certain. Shit I like, like, all right, everybody be mad at the the cop, right? Cops in the ear. I love you know why I love that kid. And all of his homies is because had I been afforded the opportunity to have this type of technology, me and my friends would have been dancing on camera, having fun. Me and my friends would have been playing video games. You know what I'm saying? Me and my friends would have been having a bunch of girls over and laughing and joking with them. And the what Kai, who the f- Kai ain't never say he was trying to be a journalist. Mm. When Nicki Minaj going his, that's not journal. It's, it, I, I'm when I say it's not journalism, it's because I, I don't mean I'm not trying to discount. I'm saying like that's not what he want them there for. He there for you to come chill with him and have a good time. He not like Kai knows that you're not trying to have you sit down and do the the greatest interview where he deep dives and goes back into your history and brings it to the forefront and then segues away from it. That's not what he do. He a young guy having fun. So like I do appreciate interviews that. That um do provide that as well though too, but that's not what them young is after, and and that, and that that's that's the thing we be forgetting when I be seeing these niggas say this down the third we be forget don't forget you was that age bro mm-hmm. don't forget how people treated you when you was twenty one you know what I'm saying don't forget how people treated you when you was when when you wanted to wear something that every that ain't agree with you know what I mean and and they was joking on you for it. You know what I'm saying? Or saying, why are you wearing that jersey? We don't rock with that team. You know what I'm saying? Like, because it's different levels, but the same shit exi- is, has existed in almost every era or every generation where there's a disconnect between the elders and the youth. And the elders and the youth disconnection, that shit just comes in because some shit be looking and be hating, bro. No. Some is just haters. You feel no. me? I, uh, me personally, I understand why an uh, artist wouldn't want to do a an interview like this or an interview with like a high level journalist because sometimes your agenda be different. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes when you want to sit down with a funny marker or a Bobby or a Cosinette, yeah. you just have fun. Like you don't have to worry yeah. like you say nobody trying to deep dive into my life. Yeah. Then you deep dive into my life, somebody else might get, take what I said. But, as but wrong. some people do like that too. Like bro, the first interview I ever did ever was uh by myself. Not every day because this I did a bunch of shit on everyday struggle. First interview I ever did by myself was Gunna. And I remember this is when he dropped the album Gunna Season. Not is it gonna? What's the, shit, the astrology? Shit? Yeah. It's not. I don't think that's. I, I can't. I'm forgive me. I can't remember exactly what it was, but like I had this. And when I did that interview, I remember calling my man Daytuan. You know what I mean? Daytuan. He ran Vibe. He ran King Magazine. He's like high level with that. Shit. And I called Daytuan. I was like, Yo, bro, I'm kind of nervous. I'm doing this by myself. Like usually, I used to have academics to lean on. Like academics are coming with the quirky, funny shit or some controversial. Shit. They be not with him for that I come in with some you know straight question or some real life and then Desco would even us out I'm doing this by myself so I, I he like yo just make him comfortable he's like once you make him comfortable he gonna like he gonna give you whatever you need in an interview and um yo bro I was calling people in Atlanta finding out information on him and by the time it was done I remember calling my homegirl Eb his manager and she was like yo Gunner was like yo that was like one of the best interviews he had and I did one of those type of deep dive interviews because mm-hmm. that's another thing I know that my age, like I said, while I do admire and I love what Kai and them, them is doing, I'm not, I can't do what they do. And I'm not trying to do what they do because they got their own lane. You feel me? So, and this is before they was even popping like that. So it's like for me, I always tried to have my interviews in a space of like, we could talk some fun. Shit. We could talk, I'm a, I'm a father, you know what I mean? So we could talk some family. Shit. I come from the street, so we could talk about not, I don't, I don't get into, you know what I mean? The t- telling and because that's that's a very very slippery slope. And I feel like when you decide as a personality which side you want to stand on in that conversation, then you have to live in that. And I I got a lot. I I I got people on JPay right now. I ain't got time to be 
I'm worried about that. I ain't worried about what you got going on. Mm -hmm. So I try to stay within a conversation where you could come fuck with Wayne or you going you going to be you you going to feel good walking away like yo he ain't try to violate. You know what I mean? He had fun, you know what I mean? But it wasn't too off the wall like that type shit, you feel me? You think that old school journalism stuff is like dying? I wouldn't necessarily say dying because guess what? There's an audience for everybody. Like why why like let's say that's what I learned, bro. Like if there's a, a hundred thousand views or a million views, does not mean a million people, mm. right? But if there's a hundred thousand views, it might be a bunch of people that may not see it, but the people I want to see it might see that, and that's what they might like. So, like, it, it, I'm not gonna say it's dying because yes, it, a lot of things is numbers games now more than ever, and I wouldn't say it's dying, but like, just stay in your lane, bro. Mm. Stay in your lane like you know like even with the drake like remember when drake did the bobby shit? like I, I i ain't gonna lie i think the bobby shit was ridiculous right mm -hmm. but at the same time like drake it ain't like drake ain't come talk to all of y'all already but i understood when he i i that's why i said i can't understand why artists would do the bobby bro it's like you're not about to go to a deep dive in my every life. single time yeah so it's every like, single time let's do have fun yeah I, Artists sometimes be like, bro, I don't want... Like, because you come to the interview with me, I'm going to ask you some questions. I'm yeah. doing my research. I'm asking you questions. Right. I can understand. I can see. I can understand why artists wouldn't want to do that. I yeah, can understand. Yeah, yeah. Like, bro, I just want to have fun. Every, every time, though. Because you don't know... Like, that's the thing. Every, I've been I've been with the artists the day when they having a bad day and then got to go to... Excuse me. Go to the radio and act like it's a good day. Mm. And sometimes they just don't... And now we're in a place where... I'm not going to say it don't matter, but they've shifted. People still go to radio and do interviews all the time. But it's shifted, right? Like the consumer has shifted. Now, like I did just think about, bro, when I was a little kid, if I missed the X-Men cartoon, there was no reruns. I had to wait till the summertime when they doing reruns to watch an episode I missed three months ago. Now everything is on demand. I could go, I could watch my favorite episode or whatever every day, all day. So you got to let the consumer decide. Mm. But if you doing something and you feel like, all right, it's the highest level of integrity and it got to be this, that, that's fine. Do that. Do it with the people that want to do that with you. Facts. That's Damn. just that. If you don't want to do that shit with you, so what? Like, no, that makes sense.